Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am about to prepare a lunch recipe. First, to a pressure cooker I have added tuwar dal and then goes in some spinach. Add salt as per your taste and then goes in water. I am adding here 2 cups of water. Now pressure cook this on medium to low flame for 3 whistles. So meantime here I have taken tapioca, I have cut it into small cubes, washed it really well and transfer it to a vessel adding enough water and you have to cook it till it is soft. So here after 3 whistles, I have waited for 5 minutes and then have opened and you can see our tuwar dal is completely cooked. It should be like this, it should be mushy, transferring to another bowl, giving it a very good mix. And for that, here in a grinder, I have taken grated coconut. And to that, I have added in turmeric powder. Then goes in a little cumin seeds. Green chilies. A small pinch of ginger and garlic. Little curry leaves. I am adding here little water. Now grind it to a very smooth paste. Once grinded, transfer it to this dal and spinach curry. Mix well. Now cleaning the sides of the jar, we have added here water around 1 to 2 cups. Now once this curry cools down, there are chances it can thicken. So you can add the water accordingly. So this is how it should look. It should not be too thick nor too thin. Adding salt as per your taste. And giving it a very good mix. So this is how it should look like. Our dal and spinach curry is ready. Let it come to a boil. To another pan, I have added your coconut oil. Then goes in little mustard seeds, some curry leaves and one medium chopped onion. Saute this on medium flame for a minute. Then goes in a little bit of ginger and garlic crushed. Mix well that too. Here you can see our curry starts to boil. Turn off the flame and set it aside. Here I have added in turmeric powder and a little bit of chilli powder. Mix this well. Let the raw smell go. And here I am going to add in our tinned leaf. I have cut it into round shape. Adding in salt as per your taste. And giving it a very good mix as well. Now here you can see for this I am not adding any water because I am cooking it in non-stick so it is ok. But in case if you are cooking it in a steel pan you can add at least 1 by 4th or half cup of water. Mix well. Cover and let it cook for at least 10 minutes. To another pan, I am adding a little bit of oil, mustard seed, curry leaves, onion chopped and saute this as well. Now this is a tempering I am going to add to our dal and spinach curry. I have added here dry red chilies. Once the onion turns brown, add it to our curry and do not mix it right away. Just cover it and keep it aside. To the same pan, I am added coconut oil, little mustard seed, curry leaves and onion chopped. These are the same steps we use. Saute this as well for at least 1 to 2 minutes. In between, as you can see, I am giving a mix to our tindli. Covering it and cooking it again. Our tapioca has also been boiling there. Here, I am adding chilli powder. I have not added turmeric powder because we are adding bitter gourd. And there are chances that it can taste a little bit bitter if you are adding turmeric powder. So you can avoid that step. Add salt as per your taste giving it a mix and cover it and let it cook, cook completely. So you can see our tinli has cooked well as well as our bitter gourd has also cooked here. Both of this has, has cooked. 
turn the flame off and set it aside. Now for our tapioca, here I have taken grated coconut, cumin seed, turmeric powder, little bit of curry leaves, green chilies, then goes in some salt, adding it a teaspoon of ginger and garlic crushed or you can add it directly fresh. Now grind this without adding water. This is how it should look like. To a pan, I have added coconut oil, little bit of mustard seed, let it splutter and then goes in some curry leaves, chopped onion and saute as well. After a minute or two, once it turns a little brown, you can add the grated coconut that we have done. Mix well. At least a minute or two. Once that is done, you can see our tapioca has cooked here completely. I'm just using a masher to mash it slightly. You can even use a normal spoon. It's fine. After it is mashed a little bit, add in the coconut mixture and mix it really well. Do not add water to this. You can drain off that water. So this is our kappa which is ready. This is the fish curry I have prepared a day ahead. As well as more curry. Some freshly prepared matta rice. And a day ahead prepared mean pira. If you need any of these recipes, please let me know. This is our freshly prepared dal palak curry. Giving it a mix. Let's start plating it. First, I'm adding in our kappa. Going on the top, I'm adding a little bit of rice. Then goes in our dal palak curry. Little bit of more curry. Fish curry as well the side. Then goes in our tinli. And finally, I'm adding in our bitter gourd that we have prepared. Try preparing it this way so you cannot find it bitterness. Finally goes in a little bit of mean pira. These are some extra recipes I have added. Please do give this all a try. See you next time. Take care. God bless. Bye bye.